Are you a one monitor streamer and you're not sure how to read the chat properly without getting a second monitor? There's actually a very simple solution with this cool tool that I found online. You can actually have this program set over your game and read the chat like that. No phones necessary, no second monitor, nothing. You can simply read it with absolutely zero delay and it's perfect. Let me show you how to set it up. If you guys don't already know, my name is Agent. I stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below if you do want to check it out. Now, let me show you how to install this very simple tool. Right, so first we have to go to GitHub and on GitHub right here, you'll see transparent Twitch chat overlay. It will be linked down in the description below so you don't have to worry about a single thing. Just click that link and then you scroll down just a little bit. It's going to say download the latest from over here. So you click this. And then it's going to open up this page right here where you can just click uh, on the installer and install the file. So you click here, it's going to start the download and then we're going to install this file and I'm going to show you how to use it. Right. The installation is very self-explanatory. You go accept, you go next, next, install. And that is it. Very simple stuff. Cannot be any easier. All right, so now that we launch the actual program, you can see all these guides over here and it telling you about, you know, the program itself and all of that stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to click on a small cogwheel on top left. And over here, what is actually very nice about this program is that you do not even need to log in to Twitch. Like you don't need to log in, no need to give any permissions. You just need to type in your username. That's it. All right, for the username, I'm not going to put my username. I'm going to put actually Summit1G's because he's live right now, I'm not, so you can actually test out how this chat works. So we're gonna put Summit1G over here. Redemptions, you can, you can enable this if you want to see, you know, when somebody redeems a channel point redemption, that's very cool if you don't have, you know, your second monitor. For channel ID, all we have to do is click the channel ID button over here and it's going to, uh, to open up this uh, streamweasels.com website, which is basically a Twitch channel ID to user ID converter. Uh, so what we have to go uh, do is scroll down right here, Twitch username, we put the username, we click convert, and then it gives us the ID. So we copy paste this ID into the channel ID part, and then we continue with the rest of the setup. Right, so over here, you can also have the chat fade, so it fades out after like two minutes if you want. You know, the chat messages disappear. If you want to have a 60 seconds, you can have a 60, whatever the number, you can set up yourself. Uh, filter settings, you can enable, you know, some filters, for example, you know, show VIPs, not show VIPs, block certain names, block certain words, slurs, whatever you want, you can have it set up right over here. Next, we have the chat sound, which I don't know what anyone would use is like if somebody types in chat, it plays a sound very annoying and it's going to show up to your viewers as well, which I don't think anyone wants. So we're going to have that set to none. And then team, you can have it set to better TTV black or, you know, whatever team you want. I'm going to keep it as default. And then we're going to click save. Once we click save, it's actually going to load up the chat of Summit 1G. And you can see how fast and how responsive it is. Right. So now you can see how zero delay this thing actually is. If you see on the right, this is like his real chat. And this is the, you know, the app we're using. You can see it's instant. As soon as the one on Twitch shows up, the one in the program shows up as well. So very, very, very cool. Now, more things that you can change if you go to the cogwheel right here is under general. You can auto hide the borders. Uh, you know, these are the specific borders right here. Uh, you can hide a taskbar icon. You can enable all of these if you want, you know, play around with them, see what works for you. Uh, widgets, you can use some certain widgets. I don't personally use any of this, so we're not going to touch any of that. And we're going to click save. And now when we open up the game, you can see how it shows up. All right. So now that we're in the game, I decided to open up a random game I have installed on Steam. Orcs must die three. So you can have it set up wherever you want in whatever corner you want. So for example, if you want to have the chat in top left, you can have it set in top left. You can resize it. You can, you know, you can play it around with the size. You can have it smaller, bigger, whatever. I cannot really catch this. There we go. Left, right, whatever you want. Keep in mind that you will have to play the games in windowed borderless. So if you are in full screen, it will not show up the chat itself. So you will have to play it in either windowed or full screen windowed, which like 90% of the games have set up. So you should not worry about it. You can have it set up like that. 
play around with what's the base position so it doesn't hide too much of the game and then if you use the game capture it won't show up this chat overlay for the stream itself and if you want to hide this the actual borders you can click this small button right here and it hides the borders right there so it's super super simple and clean and if you ever want to get this overlay back all you have to do is click f9 you know just click f9 it hides and shows the overlay again if you cannot hide and show the overlay you will have to go in alt tab until you get to the window then you can press f9 to show the overlay that is it for today's video i hope this tool helps you out i know it's very simple and very easy to use a lot of people cannot really afford a second monitor or they don't want to use their phone or whatever the case is you can use this simple tool to see the chat to respond to them to be active and engaging if you got this far into the video make sure to drop a like it would mean the world and if you don't already know i do stream on twitch three days a week link is down in description below anyway i'll see you in the next video peace out and have a good one bye bye